Welcome to the next in our series of videos looking at how to use the Global Terrorism Database. Our previous videos were focused on using the online portal to do some basic searches and some advanced searches. In this video, we'll be downloading the Global Terrorism Database and opening it in Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is very helpful for making faster comparisons between countries and across groups and will also open up a lot of additional types of analysis options for you. The Global Terrorism Database portal does change from time to time, so please bear in mind in the following directions that things may change slightly when you go to access it. Starting from the opening screen, which you can see here, the first step to do is to click on Access the Global Terrorism Database like this. Once this loads, you'll see that there are two options. The first is to search and browse, which is where we did our online portal sort searches before, and also the download option. In this case, we'll be starting with the download option. As you can see here, there are two different choices that you've got. One is for individual use and one is for organizational use. In this case, we'll be using it for individual use because we're not using it for any commercial purposes and we're doing it for our own research purposes. So to begin with, we'll, be, we'll click this GTD download button here. As you can see here, it asks you to enter in your personal details. Uh, make sure you, that you do this all correctly as it will ask you for confirmation through your email address. I'll now fill it in and then I'll show you um, the next steps shortly. Once you've entered in all of your details, please make sure that you click this box here to make sure that everything is in order. And then once you've done all that, um, hit register. Next, it'll bring you to a screen where it'll ask you to log in. Make sure you do so. Um, hit remember me and then hit log in. Once that is finished processing, you'll come to this screen. In this screen, there's a tab on the left-hand side which has Documents and Start GTD. This link here takes you back to the home page, and this tab here takes you to the different documents that you can download from the Global Terrorism Database. So let's click there. Um, you'll see you can view Documents under the next tab, and that'll take us to the part where we can actually download the Global Terrorism Database. And I recommend downloading the Global Terrorism Database Codebook first so you can familiarize yourself with the meaning of each variable, how it's measured, and how to interpret the different data from within the file. However, for this, because we're focusing on downloading the Global Terrorism Database itself, we'll click on this link here to download the entire Global Terrorism Database between 1970 and 2018. One word of note before that, unfortunately the data from the year 1993 are not included within this, and this is a separate database. Once you click on that link, um, you can see here we've got um, the summary of what's um, here. And what I recommend doing next is clicking on the download attachment, and that'll begin downloading. One thing to bear in mind once you hit the download button, that this may take some time due to the size of the file. So I recommend finding out your best source of internet and your strongest internet source um, for downloading the Global Terrorism Database. If you don't already have the Microsoft Excel or the Microsoft Office Suite, please remember if you are doing this as part of a college or university course, then many colleges and universities across the United States have free access to the Microsoft Office Suite. Uh, through the Citadel, this can be found by Googling um, Citadel Microsoft Office. And if you scroll down here and you click on the following link, um, you can find it here and start using Microsoft Excel. Once that has finished downloading, open up the file, um, which should open automatically in Microsoft Excel. Again, this may take some time due to the file size, but once it opens, you'll be able to see the data from the Global Terrorism Database. Please don't be alarmed by the length of time that this takes. Um, this is completely normal, and it, bear, please bear in mind that this may not work on every computer depending on available space on the hard drive. Once it is open, this is what it looks like. You can open up the window a little bit more and scroll across and see the data. Um, this, as this video was concerned mostly with downloading the global database, we'll cut off there, but please look forward to other videos about how to analyze the data through Microsoft Excel.